Hi guys, welcome back. So, I have in my hand a certificate that I already completed my first year as a new per. It is official, I'm done with my first year as a new per, but it is also official, I'm extending for another year. So, yes. Okay, let's get into the video. It's been a year since I came, oh no, it's not been a year yet. It is on October 26th. 27th yeah it's gonna be a year since I came here and a lot of helpers or I mean future helpers are always asking me how was my first day my first week or my first month in here and I can barely remember I mean I do remember but uh, I was not that excited for me because I'm the first helper in this family so I do know about their helpers that come to any to their family and there is another helper before than them. So they can like, you know, get to know the helper that is already living and they can like introduce you to another people and it's like better. But it was not my case. I was the first helper and I don't know, everything was like new for my host family and for me. So let's get it started. To be honest, like even when I was there in the airport trying to like get my bags and all that kind of stuff, I was not even realizing that I was here. Like it was still like a dream, like you know what I mean? Like I don't know, like I don't know how to explain it. Like, I couldn't believe that I was already here, like, it was true, like, I was here and I was gonna start my year in another country with new people and new things, you know? But then, like, probably in the second week, I realized that, yes, I'm here, yes, I'm here, probably, I can identify with, um, Oprah's Love Cupcakes, yeah. If you saw my last video, you probably went to read this book. It's an online book. Um, and ex Oper is writing this book. It is online. You need just to go follow her on her page on Facebook, fan page, and on the Holy Ghost. And just start reading it because it's really fun. I already read all the chapters. She's still like writing more chapters, so I'm there. It's just, I'm like, what is next? I wanna keep reading more. Like, I wanna read more chapters, but now I have to wait. So, guys, just go and check it out. I will link it down below. Um, and just let me know in the comments what do you think about the book because I'm reading it as well. Okay, so what I was saying? Oh, yeah, my first day in the first week here. I didn't have friends and it was really difficult for me like I was having bad days because I was kind of homesick for a little bit like the first day I mean no not the first day like the second week that I was here I was feeling really homesick because it was like I already realized that I was here and that I was not gonna see my family for a year and I was like what did I do why did I come here like what am I doing here? Like, no, I want to go back home. But no, that didn't happen because obviously I'm here. <laughs> uh, so the first week, it was also Halloween. And yeah, it's almost Halloween this year as well. Wow, it's going to be really different from last Halloween. And from every single Halloween that I have experimented on my whole entire life. Because I have never really celebrated Halloween never ever i didn't do it last year and probably i don't know what's gonna happen this halloween i don't even know if i'm gonna get a custom or something you guys are you gonna do something for halloween let me know down below because you can give me ideas or if you're in la or something and you have an idea of what you're gonna do for halloween you can tell me and probably i can join you i don't know well but yeah, family, the first day and the first week were really, really warm. They made me feel like I was at home. And I think that that really helped a lot to don't really feel homesick. 
like not really homesick, like, just a little bit. But uh, another thing that really helped me was that I was always running. As I already said in, the, in another video, like the first month I was always running. Like I was on taking care of the kids and the first thing that I wanted to do was like get out of here and just go run and get to know the neighborhood, like the area, like the houses, how it was here because everything was new for me by then. And I wanted to know first month you have to be really strong. Ooh. There, there's almost an accident in that corner right now. Wow. <laughs> okay. What I'm saying? I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, then the experience is really different for every Albert. And for me, it was not really excited because I didn't do the um, first week that you have to do in New York. Like, I think that almost all the agencies have to do it, but my agency doesn't do it. I don't know why. But uh, I didn't go to New York first. I came like straight to my family and host family. I came straight here. I never went to a like, you know, classes or something like that. Um, and I think that really helps to make new friends and have people, even if they're not gonna live like near you or in your same state, you know? But that really helped, not like it had friends right away I came here. It took me like a little bit longer than in the airport. Oh, but yeah. Something that I can really say, it's like my first month I spent like my, like all my money buying new stuff. I think that running and buying clothes was like the way that I could handle it. To be here alone by myself and yeah. Oh, you know what? Another thing that I did in my first month was to get um, my phone, I mean, a number from here in the United States. I also, I got my social security number and what? Another, oh, I got my bank account. Those are things that you have to do because like you cannot live without those three things in here. Like you, like the first thing that you really, really have to do and to get is your social security number because that is there is a must in here like you have to get it and you have to get your bank account because usually your house family is gonna pay you online so they just transfer the money to your bank account so it's easier so you have your debit card and it's easier for everybody or and you also like I don't know if this is like this happens with all the host family but my host family gave me a phone so you know you can communicate with people here I don't know if all the families do this but yeah they also gave me that um, another thing that I did during the first month what, what else I think that the first month what you really need is the support of your family and your friends like you need to know that you made the right decision that you are here and that what you're doing is the best for you and that this is gonna give you opportunities in your life that you're gonna grow up and that you're gonna learn more stuff you're gonna be a more mature girl or boy and that this experience is gonna give you more things to learn about you and about everything you know I think that that's what helped me a lot to survive the first month because uh, the second month and the third month they were like kinda easy. I mean I was having kinda I was having like friends and all that and it was also um Thanksgiving, it was uh, um, Christmas, it was New Year's Eve and that helped me a lot because I was already having friends and I was hanging out every single weekend with them so that made me like trying to Thing that I was having a life here like I was like making my life in here and that everything was okay this is a short video I just wanted to like try to share with you how was my first month I was not really excited at all but I just wanted to tell you guys how I was because another helpers future helpers or girls that are trying to get into this world are always asking me about that and I don't even know how what to say because it was not that excited Oh, and by the way, I was forgetting to say this. Um, on last weekend, I went um, 
with two other friends we drove down San Diego to my boyfriend's house and we spent the weekend in there to celebrate one of my friend's birthday and we went to a show and it is called the Miramar Air Show it's something about the Marines from here in the United States and it was something about like you know all the fireworks and the jets that were flying and doing all this crazy stuff and the sky and I do have a couple of videos so I will just put them in here so you can see a little bit of well, how was the weekend I'm gonna try to keep recording more videos about how are my weekend so you can see so you can see like a little bit more of my life if you're interested in that so I will start doing it and if you like the idea I mean if you don't like it just tell me down below in the comments if you don't like it because I won't do it then social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat. If you really like this video, give it a huge <coughs> give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, just do it. Subscribe it. We can be more in this family of helpers and not helpers or future helpers or I don't know. Thank you so much for subscribing that means a lot for me like a lot you have no idea guys thank you so much and see you in the next video yes. bye bye Jesus.